mean, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that would be the obvious, you know. Yeah, you know. And then if you talk to everybody else, well, what about me? What about me? <laughs> so, yeah, we got a lot of guys, and that's what happens when you play a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys unhappy. I might have to get to the point where two of them are ticked off at me, and eight of them love me. So we'll see. But you knew this was going to happen, didn't you? Kinda. You know, winning kind of cures everything. But if you're losing, you might have to make some changes. So we'll, we'll see. And again. We only played three games, and we got 79 to go. And and we, I thought last night, I thought we kicked it away. We should have won the game last night. We had good stuff going, and we let it get away. And give San Antonio credit, but uh, it was on our, uh, that's on our plate. We we messed up. Coach, you mentioned good good stuff. Uh, you're up 15 in yeah. that first half. What was working well at that point in juncture? Well, defensively, I thought we played pretty well all night. Um, Maybe they didn't play so well. Who knows? But it, the combination too. But I thought defensively we played well, and then we hit shots. Uh, the ball movement was better. Uh, seemed whatever reason when uh, X went down, it took the uh, air out of our sails. And I don't know if that was because X went down, the stoppage, or you know what? They just tightened up. So keep looking at it. But uh, anytime we have great ball movement and defensively we have the energy, and uh, good things happen. Jim. X, yeah, he's fine. He's got nine stitches, I think, and uh, uh, he looks, he's got an eye up there. It looks like he should have had an X, but he's got an eye, so he's all right. He'll be all right. Jim mentioned the rotations. In your mind, are you starting to get a better feel for a four or five rotation that uh, would work the best? A little bit better. Uh, we'll see, and then when you make the change, it doesn't mean it's going to work, so uh, we just, we're just evaluating that every day. The bench has been playing extremely well. Right. I thought Wesley Johnson was a bright spot right. last night. What would you like about his performance? I thought he's more energetic, and that's uh, we, we really are trying to stress with him to be relentless in everything he does. If we're going to play small, then he's got to be a force of to the basket. That's either picking and rolling, uh, running the floor, driving the ball, getting to the basket so he can create you know layups fouls and uh, and threes he can do that he has that possibility and and i think he'll grow into it and I, we saw that back a month ago and yes they showed glimmers of it and we just have to keep keep pushing him and keep him getting better do you think he's starting to feel more comfortable over the last couple games considering who's this uh, West oh yeah yeah I, I think he is yeah to talk to him but I, I yeah you can see anytime a guy starts to play better he's starting to feel more comfortable and now you have a team coming in here that has a great deal of athleticism with themselves. Uh, yeah, well, everybody in this league, you know, it's that's something where you you go against all the time. And Atlanta plays a little bit like San Antonio. Their coaches, you know, was in that system forever. And uh, so we had a good practice tune-up. So, yeah, they'll come in, and uh, they do have some bigs that are athletic, and uh, they'll, they'll play hard. Like that improved from the second game? Well, just our energy, our emotional energy. I, I thought we played a little bit like we did the first game. The difference between the two is that the first game, all those shots we took down in went in. This year, this time it didn't. You know, we got to get the both Steves to shoot the ball better. Obviously, if they're three for 20, we're going to struggle winning a lot of games. And you put 0 for 6 from X, so you're three for 26 from three guys on the outside. You, you, we could have won anyway, but it's not something you want to try to make a steady diet of. Do I now? Obviously, came in progress. Hey, he's playing, he's playing pretty good. Just trying to still, we got to figure out the rotation a little bit better, getting more time or, or whatever. You know, Jordan keeps, you know, they're kind of playing their spots and they're all playing pretty good. So it's tough to find minutes for all of them. Right. With all those kind of possibilities, like what do you kind of envision what you want? Well, we'll see. Uh, we don't know. It'll, it'll, you know, we'll make a decision here, a better decision, hopefully. But, you know, again, it's too early to say, and they, they compete for minutes. And we'll see what team wins. Coach, did Steve Nash practice today? He had mentioned yes. that his quad is hurt. Could you update us on that? Well, he got hit, uh, I think, in the first game, and then uh, he got hit two or three times last game, and he went out a little bit in the second half. I didn't bring him back uh, a little of everything. Uh, but uh, yeah, he practiced, and I think he's ready to go. As you know, most of this game offensively is having your legs, and he's working right. his way into shape. Right. Um, does the nagging injuries this early on concern you for his benefit? Well, I think they always concern you. If he was 25 years old, it wouldn't concern me. But being 39, I think that's what concerns me. I think that's normal. Now, I know him, and I know what he can do, and I know how much we need him, and I know that he'll give you everything he's got always and prepare himself. So I'm betting on him, and we'll see.